that you had purpose in your heart, that I will dare to be different, that I will live for Jesus. So Gen Z, go for it and shine. Go for it and shine for Jesus. I bless you today in the name of Jesus to do mighty exploits for the kingdom of God. Hello everyone, it's good to be back again. You know, it's really an excitement, a joy, a mixed feeling to see so many of you turning up for this conference. Amen. Pastor shared yesterday, last night, about, you know, being marked or being scarred by the Holy Spirit deeply, deeply. And we have seen that many young people, you have been scarred by the presence of the Lord so deeply that you will never forget in your entire lifetime. But that scar in you is going to remind you of who you are in Christ. Amen. Of who you are in Christ. And that's absolutely amazing. And even this evening, be ready because the Spirit of God is going to mark each one of you. You know, when we pray, the leaders, when we pray, we have received certain words for the conference for all of you. And these things are happening from the beginning of the first day, even yesterday, and even today it's going to happen. And one thing is this. We received the word that God is going to highlight. God is going to send the Spirit, His Spirit, His power to mark the leaders for this generation. So many of you are going to be marked today to be a leader of this generation. Are you not excited? Amen. You may think you're small, you are this, you are that, but God didn't see you this way. God is going to send His Holy Spirit and He's going to mark you today as a leader. Different from the rest of the world. Different. Extraordinary. Not ordinary leaders but extraordinary because the Spirit of God is going to mark you and you're going to lead this generation. You are going to be a father, a mother to this generation, spiritually. Amen. You are young, but you're going to be a father. You are young, but you're going to be a mother in the Spirit. If not you, who? The world is not taking any interest in this generation. But it should be you and I who should come out of a comfort zone marked by the Spirit of God. And then you will realize that you are truly a mother, a father, having a passion, a heart to be a leader for this generation and show this generation the way, the truth, and the life. And that is Jesus. Amen. Today I want to be sharing in this the word that we receive and that I shared just now about being different, about being marked by the Spirit of God, and making you a different, spiritual, powerful leader. Okay, so just be excited. And I know that the, the Spirit of God is going to move mightily even tonight. Amen. Let me pray. Father, we thank you so much for this time that you've given to us, Lord God. Lord, we are blessed. Indeed, we're so much blessed since the beginning of this very conference, Lord. And here we are, once again, hungry for you, Lord God. Father, it's not by might, not by power, but by your Spirit, Lord. And today, even as I stand before you, and even as your people, as your people sit here, Lord God, it's not going to be by might or by power, but by your Spirit, Lord. So, Holy Spirit, have your way, have your way, steer our hearts, Hallelujah. And let there be an explosion of something new in our lives, in our spirit today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Why Gen Z? So many people ask this question. Why Gen Z? Even the leaders, when we were making, making the program and all, we, will, we were just discussing. Nah? Ay, why Gen Z? Why Gen Z? <laughs> Every time, why Gen Z? Why Gen Z? Nah? But why Gen Z? I want to bring this question to all of you. Why Gen Z? Can anybody answer? Why Gen Z? Why Gen Z Youth Conference now? Why? Why Gen Z? Because the field is already ready. And the field is you. Because the field is already ready. And now is the right time to harvest that which God has 
planted. You have been planted by God and now you are ready to be harvested or harvest. And that's why now you think you are young, you think you are small. See, the world looks you this way. This generation, you know, carries a lot of attitude, good for nothing people, postmodernism, culture, spirit creeping all over. And then, you know, good for nothing, always bringing problems of the problems. They see you this way. But God, when he planted you, even though now you are young, God is telling us in our spirit that you are ready for harvest. Have you ever seen a field? Uh, 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 what is that? A panikiti, a pedifil. Pedifil. Dikshina dekhanai. Pakina dikshina dekhanai. Itu apni asu to. Therefore, why Gen Z? Because you are already ready. Because the field is already ready for the Spirit of God to come with a sickle and to harvest you. The world will not see that way, but we see that way because God has spoken to us, not just me. I've interacted with so many powerful leaders, young leaders, and they will say the same. God it has so much, so much interested in these young people, in this generation. His heart, his eyes is towards you. World is not seeing that way, but we see that way. That you are potential, you are creative, you are hungry, amazing. You are hungry, therefore you are here today. Which shows that you are ready, the field is ready. Amen. Therefore, Gen Z now. The theme is now. Why now? Not tomorrow, not today. Right now, right now. And God is going to pass you a button, a button to you. God is going to give you a button to this generation to pass the final lap. We are in the final lap to cross the race, the, the track. How many of you know Ushin Bolt? Can I see your hands? Ushin Bolt, an athlete, right? He's a boxer, isn't it? No, he's a splinter or what's that? Nah? Splinter. He created so many world records. So much, you know, right? Ocean both, a splinter. And do you know what rally race is? Rally race? Nah, it's not a single people running for, you know, to, to reach the final uh, track and then to receive the uh, award, no. Rally race, you know, there are so many people, maybe five or six, and they work together as a team. So the first person, a button is on his hand, he will run and pass it on to the next one, and the next one, to the next one, and the final, Final is Ushin Bolt, Jamaica, if you watch that. Now nah, he's always the last one, the last person to reach to pass the final lap. Ushin Bolt. And what happened? When the, that button is being passed, he runs like hell. Crazy. And then he creates a world record and he reached his destiny. And then there's an award. You and I are Ushin Bolt of this generation to pass the final lap. This is what God sp spoke to me. This is what God showed me when I was just preparing. That we are the ocean bowl of this generation. We are the last one. Okay, done. Dead generation, X generation, dead generation, millennial generation. We, the millennials and the Z generation, Zoomers, Gen Z. We are now the last button. Okay, the button has been passed to us. And then we're going to run the final lap. And Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Can you see that? That is you. That is me. In the Old Testament, we see this same picture. Okay? We see this same picture of Moses passing the baton to Joshua and Caleb to pass the final lap of the rest and receive the promised land that which God promised. That person behind, who is that? Ujian Bolt is Moses. Okay? Moses passed on the button to Caleb and Joshua. And it was Caleb and Joshua who reached the, landed in the promised land. It is going to be you and I who is going to take that button, the grace, the gospel, Christ, there in that promised land. It's going to be you and I. No other person, you and I. Moses has passed his button to Caleb and Joshua. Why? Because Caleb and Joshua, they were different. The Bible says they, had, they were different because they have the spirit. Their spirit was quite different. That's what the Bible says. 
And that makes them different. From all the other people, Caleb and Joshua, Moses passed on the button to these two leaders. There were so many people, but the rest of the leaders there, they were ordinary people. But Caleb and Joshua were extraordinary. And therefore, Moses passed the baton to Joshua and Caleb. Here, maybe some of you think you are an ordinary people. If you think that way, you will miss the button. And so I'm here to remind all of us that we must and we should be like Joshua and Caleb, different from the rest of the world. Like Pastor shared yesterday, ordinary people go to parties, drink. Ordinary people go for cost fairs and do all the, those crazy things. Cost fairs, I'm not saying it's bad. But the way they present themselves, the intended, you know, uh, things that they put there is very demonic. Okay? Those, for, those are for ordinary people. Those people there in the Mudukor with the name Caleb, Joshua, John, Peter. Nah, those are ordinary people. Amen. Those are ordinary people. And ordinary people does those things, crazy things. But for you and I, we are different. We are different. We are the Caleb and Joshua of this generation. Amen. And so we must react that way. It's only then the Spirit of God today is going to come and mark you. When you realize that you are Caleb and Joshua of this generation, only then the button is going to come over you, the Spirit is going to come over you, and it's going to mark you as a leader for this generation. Tonight, tonight, now. I never thought I would be a leader like that. It was never in my wildest dream I thought, you know, of not to be in a ministry. Never! During my class, class 10, I, want, I always wanted to be a, a, you know, army officer because my father was a police personnel. And so I, my dream was that during class 10, nah, to keep room and I say, army officer, army officer. And class 12, teachers will ask, Atube, what do you want to, be, uh, what, what's your ambition? You know, um, changed. I want to be an uh, administrator. Now, from army officer to administrator. And during my BA, okay, when I was doing my, my bachelor, the lecturers will come and ask me, hey, Atube, what's your ambition? What do you want to do? And I'll say, I think I'll be, I'll try to become a successful businessman. Changed completely. But to, 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 you know, to study the word of God, to be a man of God, you know, to be this, to work in a church, to serve God, was never in my wildest dreams. Never. But it was one time. It is in Kohima itself. It was in winter. It was cold. I never thought that, you know, of all these things, it, that things that is going to happen to me, my friend invited me because I live in a rented house alone and then my friend came all the way from another place and uh, he was there so he invited me. I said, why don't you just come to my place and then have a dinner together. So I went there so far from that corner end to that end. I went there just to have a food because <laughs> So I went, I took the effort, I went and then I was there. I would talk to my friend, to uh, his sisters and then people there and then after we had our lunch, I mean dinner, meal wonderful and when I was about to leave my friend's sister told me Achibe, why didn't you just wait every Friday this guy evangelist come and then five or six of us we gather in this uh, home I mean in this place and then we just fellowship eh? so why don't you just stay I, I was reluctant in the beginning I said I have to go but my friend's sister was so you know persistent one minute I go okay I stayed I stayed back there were, I think, five or six of us only. Five or six of us. And the evangelist came. He began to share what, what. I don't remember what he shared that day, okay? <laughs> I don't really remember what he shared. But one thing I remember. The moment he called us, if you want to give your life to Jesus. At a time in my heart, you know, something was happening in my heart. And I just stood. I knelt down again. I went front. And then he laid over me. And the Spirit of God came over me. And I began to weep, I began to cry, and then, you know, the scar, the deep scar already happened in my heart. The deep scar. And I never forget that day. I forgot what this preacher eventually shared, okay? <laughs> but the Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit coming over me, it changed something in me. And that Spirit stirred my heart and He convicted me that I was a sinner and that I need Christ. And I was crying and that Spirit led me to Jesus Christ. And I began to see the picture. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, He died for me, for my sins, for my shame. I began to see the cross. And through Jesus, Jesus took me to the Father. And I began to see the love of God in my life. And since that day, you know, I was so happy, but I didn't tell my friends there. Nah. I came all the way up and in the street and then it, it, it was winter. Tandazi and then just win. Nah. 
everywhere. So I was just in the main street now, in the main highway, and I was just going, so happy something changed. I wasn't expecting that, but something changed. And so as I was going, you know, everything changed. The, the way I view things, I weed things, and things like that, everything was just changed completely. And I, I can see, you know, the winds blowing, the plastic, like that. and I'll be mesmerized by seeing the, wow, nah, something changed. And then the breeze with Balu, nah, sand will come and hit my face, and wow, that was nice. Nah. I reached home like that. And I, in the home, I was just, you know, thanking the Lord. I wasn't even, you know, cannot sleep also, excited for the Lord. I don't know what was happening. And even then, that's God, that's God was in me. But I never thought that I would be in a full-time ministry. I don't know what, what to do. But still then, that's God was in me. And that scar took me slowly, slowly, and then led me, reminded me of who I am in Christ. And that's how I landed in the ministry. I began to serve the Lord from this level. Okay, I started to clean, um, you know, cars for the pastors, for the leaders. I cook for 80, 80 90 people. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll go and fetch water all the way, two, three kilometers, you know, in Kohima Pani, scarcity. Nah? I will do that. I'll feel that. I'll be a carpenter. I'll be just everything. I'll do everything for the Lord because I was, you know, doing it for the glory of God. And when I was doing that, that scar that happened, you know, years back, it came to life and told me, you have to serve the Lord in the ministry. And that's how I was marked as a leader. Amen. And today I'm standing here. So it was never in my wildest dreams. But even today, you may not even think of all these things like me. But the God, the Spirit of God will just come and touch you wherever you are. If you believe. If you just open your heart. Amen. And so today, the button has been, you know, passed to you and I. Numbers 13, we can see this. Numbers 13, you know, Moses sent 12 spies to spy up the land of Canaan, isn't it? Moses sent 10 spies, and in, in, uh, I mean 12 spies, including Caleb and Joshua. So Caleb and Joshua were there to even spy up the land of Canaan, the promised land. So out of which the other two spies, like Joshua and Canaan, Joshua is the son of? Son of? None. And? Caleb is a son of Jephunneh from the tribe of Judah. So these 12 people, 12 spies, Moses sent them. Okay, go and spy the land. The land. So 12 of them, they went together. They went together. They went in the same place. They went at the same time. But their understanding of what they saw was completely different between these two parties. The 10 of them and Caleb and Joshua. It was completely different. Together they went, nah, in the, place, in the same place, the, 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 at the same time. But the understanding of what they saw were completely different. The responses were completely different. Ten of them different, Caleb and Joshua different. Amen. Same place. Some of you, friend, you brought your friends. You came at the right time. I mean, you know, started from, you know, your, your, your home. Maybe at two, you arrived here in the, in the same place. And you saw the same thing. But at the end of the day, your understanding about what you saw is completely different. Your friend may be like, ah, nah. But your other friend is like, wow, nah, see. So there, there was a difference. Response between the ten spies and these two spies. What made Caleb and Joshua so it differently? What made Caleb and Joshua, you know, uh, gave, gave them the ability to see the situation differently? And I began to study, okay? I began to study. And last night, I was preparing this message and I was praying. And then last night, even as I was preparing that, you know, the Spirit of God just impressed my heart to go and look for, you know, this. Because son... Joshua was the son of Nun from Ephraim. And then J Caleb was the son of uh, Jephunneh from the tribe of Judah. Okay, from the tribe of Judah. And therefore, you know, the, the, this impression came in my heart from the Spirit to just do a word study of Judah and Ephraim. Caleb was from Judah. Joshua was from Ephraim. And so I did a word study. And I began to found out, find out that Judah, okay, Judah means in Hebrew root word yada and yada meaning thank or thank and praise God with extended hands means praise 
Juda, yada means praise. It was praise, you know, lifting, extending his hands. And then he was there, completely different. People, the 10 spies, they saw sadness, they saw defeat. But for Caleb, he did not see that because he's from Judah. Judah means praise. He saw it differently. Differently. Praise is not dead, isn't it? Praise is alive. And he began to see that. Let's see the response of these two parties before I move on any further. If you have a Bible, Numbers chapter 13, verses 31 to 33. Okay. Then the man who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against these people, for they are stronger than we. So they brought to the Israelites an unfavorable report of the land that they had spied out, saying, The land that we have gone through as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people that we saw in it are of great size. There, there we saw the Nephilim, okay, giants, and to ourselves we seemed like grasshoppers, and so we seemed to them. That was the response. Let's see the response of Caleb and Joshua in Numbers 14, 6, and 7. Numbers 14, 6, and 7. And Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes after hearing the wrong report, and say to all the congregation of the Israelites, the land that we went through as spies is an exceedingly good land. Praise made Caleb to see different. And what's the name of Ephraim? Ephraim in a Hebrew root word, it is called Para, okay, para. Ephraim means para in the Hebrew word, root word, and meaning to be fruitful, to be fruitful. Only a fruitful man and a one who has a heart full of praise saw it differently. Saw it differently. And by the way, Moses sent all the head of the head of the tribes, okay, leaders. Three of them, they are from different tribes, and all of them are leaders. But at the end of the day, only the extraordinary were able, these two people were able to see it differently. There are so many leaders even right now. But few extraordinary leaders in this generation. So now you and I have to be that extraordinary leaders like Caleb and Joshua. Different, different. Amen. I want to sum up this, what I've just shared from the Old Testament, from the New Testament perspective. Romans 12 verse 2 says, let's turn to Romans 12. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be confirmed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect why were those 10 spies not able to see the same as Caleb and Joshua because they were following the patterns of the world they were being discipled by the patterns of the world not God not the word of God many people here maybe you are being confirming to the pattern of this world what are the patterns of this world the patterns of this world are, are, are this okay you are you are being for example, you love to have, you love to chew those, those things that are not good for your health. Maybe you drink alcohol every now and then. So you are, you know, the world is always luring you to drink that, to drink that, to drink that. Those are the patterns of the world. And you go into that patterns when you know that there is another way that will give you life. But since you're always into the pattern, into that pattern, now you are being addicted to it and you are not able to come out. You're not able to come out. You're not able to come out anymore. What are the wrong patterns? Patterns of this world. Homosexuality. Gay, lesbian. There are more than, I think, uh, how, how much is it? 600 something, I believe. Uh, genders. Existing. <laughs> now it's, it's very difficult to recognize or to address someone. Now in foreign countries, now in the Western world, if I address Bendang 
as, hey, Bendang, na, to Pastor Avi, hey, Pastor, do you know Bendang? He is a very wonderful, na. No, not he. He will sue me for, I, for addressing him as he. I'm not he, call me they. Very difficult, na, grammar is always changing, okay? Those are the wrong patterns, and people are going to the patterns of this world, and therefore, they are not being renewed, and they are being blinded, and therefore, they are like the ordinary people. Those 10 spies. And now they are being defeated. They already received their defeat. Even before going to that promised land fighting, they already received their defeat. By what they saw. When we confirm ourselves to the pattern of this world, see, therefore, young people, most of you, now I'm, you know, shepherding so many young people, so I, ha I have this knowledge, okay? Because I have interacted with so many young people, and then out of 100 person, 85 to, let's say, 80 to 85 person, when I talk, young people, you know, what, what you say, what you will tell me, what you will share me, the first thing is that I want to give up. That's the first thing you say. I'm giving up. Another thing, I want to commit suicide. I don't want to live anymore. Out of 100, 80 to 85, young people, what made you say, share this to me? Because you are ordinary, because you are going to the patterns of the world. Do not be confirmed to the patterns of this world. But the Bible says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind with the word of God. Only then you will be able to see what is the will of God. His perfect, you know, will for your life. Acceptable. That's what Caleb and Joshua did. The rest and spies, they saw defeat. But for Caleb and Joshua, since they are not confirming to the patterns of this world, but to the patterns of the spirit, to the patterns of the spiritual realm, to the patterns of God, and therefore they saw victory. The giants were big, so big. And if you follow, you know, archaeological history, things like that, they are finding the no, remains of the uh, giants also, isn't it? It's huge, so huge. Huh? So huge. For us Naga people, all of six, for us, all lambas though. But some 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 15 feet tall, mamuli noi giants. And they already accept their defeat, those 10 spies, because they are confirming to the patterns of the world, because they are ordinary. But for Caleb and Joshua, since they are not confirming to the patterns of the world, even though they saw those giants about, you know, before them, they were not scared. They were not afraid. They did not run. But they say, oh, it exceedingly glory land. Nah, there is a place for us. We must go. We must attack now. That's different, isn't it? Renewing, it renews your mind. Transforms your mind. It's completely different, see. So today, I want to encourage every young people here. You always see the situation in a very negative manner because you are going, you are confirming to the patterns of the world. And the more you do that, the more you're, you will have this low self-esteem. And once you have that low self-esteem, even a rat before you will seem so big to you. Even an ant before you will seem so big to you. When you have this low self-esteem. Anyone have, you have experienced it in your life, you have gone through low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. I had that during my childhood when I was younger. Okay, I was different from many other of my you know, friends. I was the second uh, smallest, tiniest in my classroom. And I know exactly, make a line with your heights. I know, sure, I was first and second though, and I probably go in the front. <laughs> because I know, sure. And nobody will care. So my friends will, you know, I was always the odd one out in a way, okay? Because, you know, our mom, parents, they, they taught us from, since our childhood to work, to work, you know, how to work and things like that. So we do that. We'll go for gahori dana, you know, bisharing and things like that, okay? <laughs> and what happened? My friends will be playing, no, and we want to play. But this basket, no, I don't have to go to the jungle, pick, collect woods and things like that. Want to go for party. Friends are like, man, party picnic just day. But we can't, they will never invite us because we know that. I mean, I groom that's lapay na. We call it in Nagamis na. Mopuri tayo to. Niya, as a kahorita na, pakay tayo to. Niya na. So I was like that. And even in school also. So I'll be in my own little bubble. So I had this low self esteem. And when that low self esteem came in my life, I wasn't able to face anyone, not even a my, you know, some strangers also, even a guy, I cannot face them, I cannot. They may be more, you know, introvert than me, but I cannot, not because of the law of self-esteem. And so even though I have to cross, you know, this 10 feet, and in that, between 10 feet, there are some ladies there. 
chicks. <laughs> nah, there. I cannot go. So just two feet, uh, just 10 feet only. But I will go two kilometer. Nah, kilometer. Long cart. Because I don't want to face them. Low self-esteem. I was like that. See, when you hit this low self-esteem in your life, you'll begin to see even the little things. You'll be intimidated by every single thing like this 10 spice. And you will see defeat only. And today we need to change that. We are not those ordinary people. We, we are the extraordinary people, men and women of God. And today is going to mark you. It's going to put this seal in you. Pastor told us, not taba, taba, taba. If you watch, what is that? Pique. Hindi, Bollywood movie, pique. Taba, taba, cover, taba. Okay. standard But God wants to seal us today. And to be more specific to those of you who now you realize and you know that you are going to be a father and a mother spiritually to this generation. And that you are a Caleb. And Joshua sing different. The world, we are seeing same things. But for us, Caleb and Joshua, we will see differently. And why? Because the button has been passed from Moses to us now. And now we're going to run the last lap now. This is us. This is us. And if we fail to do that, the generation that is coming and the generation that is to come, they will not remember Jesus anymore. All right. Are you there with me, young people? So today, let's be hungry. Amen. Can you all stand to our feet? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just create this hunger in you. Just create this hunger in you. I know you have been seeing yourself the same as always. But today, come on. Let us try to see ourselves differently from the eyes of the Lord. From the eyes of the Lord, young people. Hallelujah. God is going to explode something in you in this hallelujah service right now. Hallelujah. And I believe, and I believe, and I believe, and I believe that there is going to be a marking of leaders, highlighting leaders for this generation from this conference right now here. And that is you, my sister. That is you, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just open your heart. Just open your heart. Just be ready. Just be ready. Just be ready. The Spirit is going to come and just kick you. Hallelujah. Going to smash you. Hallelujah. Believe for that. Believe for that. Until unless we are like Caleb and Joshua, we will never be able to see the need, the purpose that God has for you in this time and generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must, young people, we must. We must, we must. We must stretch out our hand behind because a button is going to be passed to you. A button, a button from the Spirit is going to pass. It's going to be, it's going to be passed, hallelujah, to you right now in your hands. Hallelujah. We are going to take that and run through the final lap. The final lap. The final lap, hallelujah. The promised land is just ahead of us. The promised land is just some few, 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 hallelujah, distance away from us. We're going to run, we're going to run, but we cannot just run. We need to be like Caleb and Joshua in order to run. We cannot be like the 10 spies. If you're like the 10 spies, we cannot go. Even though there is a promised land already, we cannot go. But it is when we have the heart like Joshua and Caleb and we move on, march on, hallelujah. There is where you're going to see and many leaders many leaders for this generation is going to be marked tonight marked tonight marked tonight hallelujah believe 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 it's going to be you 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 no more intimidated hallelujah hallelujah by the things of the world not conforming to the patterns of this world anymore but conforming to the patterns of the spirit 
of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Oh God, we are different. We are different for we carry a different spirit that is from the Lord. That is from the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shara da 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 da. Shori da 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 da. Shori da 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 ma 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 ma. Shori da 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 da. Shori ya ma 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 ma. Shara ma di 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 di. Shori ma 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 sekiri di. Shori da da bande. Shori bande. Shori bande. Shori bande. Shori bande. Light of the world. Light of the world. Light of the world. You and I. You and I going to be marked, going to be marked by the Spirit, the light of the world. And once the Spirit of God marks you, you cannot hide. You cannot hide. Hallelujah. For you will be like a oh burning hallelujah fire at the top of the hill, Lord God, which every people around will see, will notice, and you will not be able to hide. Hallelujah. This light, this light. The Spirit of God is going to oh just 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 bring in you right now. Just bring in you right now. Shakara ba 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 ba. Shoriande, shekeriande, shoriande, shoriande, shoriande. Caleb was young. Joshua was young, and they had every reason. They have every excuses. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oriande, shekende. But hallelujah, they did not give up. The answers, response were different. Why? Because even though they were young, they did not think of themselves as young. But they saw themselves as a man of God, a man of God, full of the Spirit. Hallelujah! And therefore, that that hunger, that hunger, that hunger, the power, the Spirit inside of them made them, made both of them to see the situation differently. Hallelujah! That can be us. That can be you, my brother. That can be you, my sister. Hallelujah! Show, 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 show. Shara ma 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 ma. Show, da 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 da. Show, 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 show. Show, da 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 da. That's why Gen Z now, the harvest is ready. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, not day after, but right now, right now, right now. 
right now the spirit of god is right now the power of the holy spirit is right now the marking is right now the anointing is right now the power is right now oh right now right now right now right now right now right now holy spirit 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 hallelujah right now holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit i release i release i release i release i release mark mark every individual mark every individual holy spirit mark every individual for this generation, for this generation, Holy Spirit, show the under da 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 da, show 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 show. Right now my prayer, hallelujah, right now the prayer is going to be very specific, so everyone listen very carefully. Those of you who have sensed, who have, who have sensed this revelation, hallelujah, that God he has chosen you, that you are going to be a leader, marked, marked for this generation, that you're going to be a mother and a father to this generation in the spirit, the burden, the zeal, the hunger to serve the Lord as a leader in this generation. For those of you who have sensed this in your heart like Caleb and Joshua, I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Hallelujah. You sense strongly in your heart that you are called to be like Caleb and Joshua. And you know exactly that this is your time this is your time now in this generation to be an ambassador to be a leader different from the rest of the world different than your friends different 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 hallelujah i can see your hands hallelujah. and god is going to mark you the spirit is going to mark you hallelujah even hallelujah as you have raised your hands i will encourage you to come to the front wherever you are hallelujah and when you come just believe don't look at your weaknesses that you are young that you're these and that but just come hallelujah like yesterday god is gonna scar you gonna scar you but this time but this time for leader hallelujah oh to be a spiritual mother and a father hallelujah for this generation for this generation Shara, da, 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 da. and i pray that it's going to be so deep the seal is going to be so deep the seal is going to be so accurate hallelujah show you that it will you will sense you will sense you will sense you will sense shara ma 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 hallelujah show 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 wherever you are the people in the front can you hold your hands to the person next to you can you hold the hands to the person next to you and just lift it up just lift it up just lift it up just lift it up one heart one voice because one spirit hallelujah one spirit help one another show rada da 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 show riande shikiriande show riande shiriande hallelujah hallelujah just wait a little longer just wait a little longer shock her mama 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 da 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 shori da 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 oh i can feel i can feel it i can feel it coming 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 show 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 yes yes it's coming it's coming it's coming ready 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 sha 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 sha
Now in Jesus' name, 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 shut up, mama, 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 not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, not by might, not by power, but by the, oh, Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord, shakaramande, sheriande, orianda, shaka, ba, 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 show, 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 Shoriande, Shoriande, Caleb and Joshua, hallelujah. Caleb and Joshua, arise, 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 Joshua, arise, 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 show, 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 Shori mama mama Shori ande Shori ande Hallelujah Shori ande Shori ande I can feel in the spirit in this room the button the button is being already released the button is been released Hallelujah wherever you are just receive up there in the gallery down here Hallelujah the button the button to Hallelujah pass the final left the power the power the torch is already being released, released, released. Wherever you are, receive that, receive that, receive that, receive that. Shara ba 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 ba. Shori ande, shekiri ande. Shoo, sho 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 sho. Shara ma 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 ma. Shara da di 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 di. Spirit has put this thought in my heart to do a prophetic act to pass the baton to the Gen Z. We have seen much, we have heard much in our generation in this church 20 plus years. We have seen the mighty move of God, we have seen miracles, healings, revivals happening in our own lives. And we want to pass this blessing today to the Gen Z. Tonight, God is marking the Joshua's and the Caleb's to carry on the promise and to take generations ahead. Hallelujah. So I want to invite some of our senior staff to just come up quickly up to the stage. And I want to invite some of our Gen Z's, hallelujah, to come up on the stage. And we want to release a prayer of blessing as we pass this baton to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Show my carry on, daddy, on, daddy. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we bless the Gen Z's. Hallelujah. Father, we release them. Hallelujah. With the blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that we have seen, all that we have achieved. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that they will see even more, Lord God. Even more, oh God. Even more, oh God. Ha, ha, ha. More, more, more of a Father. We bless them. Hallelujah. To be the Joshua's. Hallelujah. And to be the Caleb's. 
oh God. We bless them with a different spirit, oh God, that they will stand up. They will stand up for the truth. Hallelujah. They will stand up for the truth. And they will not compromise. They will not compromise. Oh, my God, I God, I God, I God. But they will be the Joshua's and the Caleb's for their families. Hallelujah. In the schools, oh God. In the colleges, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the nations. To the nations. They will carry the fire of God to the nations. Ha. Oh, oh. So we bless them today. Ha. Oh, go forth. Go forth and shine. And shine. And shine. And multiply. And do mighty exploits for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we release the fresh fire of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, hallelujah. Even as we pray right now and release the baton over their lives right now, I pray that their the eyes, their eyes will be different. Their eyes will be different. Their ears will be different. Hallelujah. Their minds will be different. Their hearts will be different. Their legs will be different. Their hands will be different. God, that you will give them their spiritual eyes, spiritual heart, spiritual ears, spiritual mouth, spiritual head, and spiritual head. Feed of God, and I pray that of God, even as we release, Lord, right now, that they will stand up for the truth of oh God, and they will speak the truth, and they will never, never listen to the lies and deception of the enemy, but they will stand up for the truth of oh God, and the truth alone, and the truth is the word of God, and I pray, of oh God, that a spiritual wisdom and knowledge and revelation, oh Lord, will be released mightily upon the lives. Right now, you are back at Yes, releasing to the destiny, to the destiny, destiny that you have called them right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They will do greater works. They will do greater works and they will see greater exploit in their lives and through this generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the gospel will be preached and taken to the ends of the ages. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for this generation. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gen Z, hallelujah. A generation, a radical generation, a radical generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Passionately, passionately pursuing the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible, hallelujah, hallelujah. And we'll take, and we'll take, and we'll take, we'll take this nation, we'll take this nation by storm for Jesus, for Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. The God of the Bible, the God of the Bible. Kiranando Rokomunda Rababa Kababa Shikala Radaranande Rebebebe Kebebebe. Father, you have promised us, Lord, that your descendants will inherit this land. In Jesus' name, we give this burden to all next generation to inherit Nagaland, to inherit India, to inherit Jammu, to inherit Kanyakumari, to inherit Gujarat, to inherit Mizoram. In Jesus' name. Father, you have promised that I will pour out my spirit on your descendants, my blessing on your offspring right now. In Jesus' name, we pray for double portion. We pray for five times more. We pray ten times more wisdom. We pray hundred times more. We pray thousands and thousands and thousands. Harvest, harvest, harvest in Jesus' name. Jesus name, in Jesus name. I just want to, the Gen Z's to know that we love you. We honor you and we believe in you. We truly believe in you. That you will carry on. We 
believe in you. And above all, God believes in you. God believes in you so much. And we bless you today in the name of Jesus to do mighty, mighty, mighty works for Him. To go, to inherit, to possess the land that He has given to you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Go forward and shine. Go forward and shine. Can all the Gen Z say we receive it? In Jesus' name. And we will go forward and possess the land. Amen. Amen. Let's give glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I believe that you have been blessed by the Word of God. If you have any testimonies or prayer requests any time of the day, you can contact or email us at the information given down below. And if this message has blessed you, we encourage you to please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.